हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ पवार एम एस फ्रॉम के जे सोमाया कॉलेज कोपरगाव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आवर नेक्स्ट रीअरेंजमेंट दैट इज अ टिफिनो डेमजानो रीअरेंजमेंट सो इन दिस रीअरेंजमेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू डिस्कस दी व्हाट इज डेमजानो रीअरेंजमेंट एंड देन एंड देन वेरिएंट ऑफ दी टिफिनो डेमजानो रीअरेंजमेंट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू डिस्कस हियर दी what is the demjano rearrange first of all so one to migration takes place by using the formation of carbocation which formation of the diazonium reaction so this is the demjano rearrangement so in this rearrangement re expansion or ring contraction will takes place so it is it will be depends on the which type of carbocation can be formed so let us we have to discuss first of all demjano rearrangement so this rearrangement is uh, followed by the electron deficient carbon atom so see here statement of first of all demjano rearrangement when migration is initiated when migration is initiated through initiated through formation of carbocation formation of carbocation by diazotization reaction which is known as demjanmo rearrangement re arrangement when this rearrangement has found the next one will found particularly application we have to tell about first of all the contract ring contraction and ring expansion so this is related to the when this rearrangement will found particularly application to ring expansion shan or ring contraction in cyclic ketone cyclic compound sorry cyclic compound so rearrangement will found in particular application of ring expansion or ring contraction it will be depend on the formation of which type of carbocation so see here so what is the ring expansion and ring contraction for example we have to see here ring expansion we have to take in starting compound that is a five member ring which is converted into the six member ring that is a ring expansion reaction and how we have we have to take for example four member ring it converted into the three member ring that is a ring contraction reaction understand what is the ring expansion and ring contraction so five member ring which converted into the six member for example when your carbon atom going on increasing that is a ring expansion when your carbon atom going on decreasing that is a ring 
contraction reaction this is well uh, remember see here okay this is your for kind information then however however ring is going to going to be expand or contract contract it will be depends on it will really depends on stability of carbocation this is the important thing when they expand or ring contract it will depends on the stability of carbocation in reaction okay these three things remember very well in this reaction we have to discuss the diazonium diazotization reaction okay so what is the diazotization reaction so diazotization reaction means primary amine it will undergoes in presence of nitrous acid at temperature condition 0 to 5 degree celsius will formation of the diazotization salt so first of all condition of the diazotization reaction rearrangement so in diazotization reaction primary amine reacts with the nitrous acid that is a ehno2 or nano2 in presence of hcl okay so reaction which uh, diazonium salt is form in 0 to 5 degree celsius temperature condition so formation of the diazo digestion salt so this is the primary amine so in next step we have to discuss is how to formation of diazotization salt and your ring expansion or ring contraction which will be take upon the formation of your carbocation this thing remember very well okay so we have to discuss here example So first of all, we have to take the amine. So example, this is we have to take four member ring CS2 ENS2. So this is the amine derivative when this amine derivative we have to reacts with nitrous acid see that is a ehno2 so ehno2 we have to write here in this way this is the ehno2 so in this reaction dehydration takes place means removal of water molecule so formation of the bond between this nitrogen and this nitrogen in next step formation of cs2 n double bond n oh so first of all simply this amine phone member ring which is CS2 NS2 so dehydration takes place formation of the N double bond N OH bond between this nitrogen and this nitrogen so in next step here dehydration takes place how so this lone pair of nitrogen takes place here formation of the nitrogen nitrogen triple bond at that time this water molecule can be d part so minus oh can be 
the part so formation of the cs2 n triple bond n so this nitrogen carries again positive charge because of this lone pair of nitrogen uh, useful for the bond formation so this salt will be form out so this is the diazotization salt by using the nitrous acid so this is the diazotization salt of your rearrangement so here this is the formation of en2 so this en2 can be easily depart en2 can be easily depart so formation of the here cs2 carbon carries positive charge so here removal of en2 first of all this oh can be depart by using this lone pair of nitrogen so here formation of the nitrogen nitrogen triple bond here formation of the en2 gas so this en2 gas we have to depart easily so here formation of the carbocation this is the important step of this rearrangement here formation of the diazotization salt and here formation of the carbocation so this carbocation is primary carbocation so in next step this step is very important here one to shift or one to migration takes place or in this stage rearrangement will process or rearrangement will takes place so this is rearrangement step so what is the driving force of that reaction so primary amine convert into the uh, secondary amine will stability of carbocation will uh, for uh, stability of carbocation will follows so see here here rearrangement takes place by using one two shift so here we have to take first of all the numbering 1 2 3 and this carbocation we have to number out first of all five so here formation of the primary amine only this one to bond can shifts on this carbon so formation of the bond between this carbon and this carbon simply this bond shifts on this carbon so stabilize the positive charge over the carbon atom but this primary carbocation so sorry this c1 carbon carries again positive charge see here upon first of all migration of this bond on this carbon so bond between this carbon and this carbon okay see here migration takes place so bond between this carbon and this carbon see up all here so bond uh, break between one and two c1 carbon so formation of the in this way so we have to write in next step write again first of all so one two bond can be break on shifts on this carbon okay so this first uh, this c1 carbon carries po positive charge see here in next step formation of the five membering here see here okay this is your one carbon this is your four three two here bond between c1 and c2 c1 c2 bond can be break then bond between this c1 and c2 insert this c2 that is a c5 carbon so this is your c5 carbon this bond 1 2 can be break on insert this c5 carbon here formation of the five membering but here this carbon carries bond can be break so this c1 carbon carries positive charge so here formation of the carbocation see here here formation of the primary carbocation here formation of the secondary carbocation carbocation and you know the very well the stability of carbocation secondary carbocation which more stable than the primary carbocation so here formation of the primary carbocation to secondary carbocation so this stabilization of this intermediate is very well so here formation of the secondary carbocation so in next step we have to take simply nucleophile that is a yes to o so formation of the here oh yes or this is your the five member ring formation in this reaction see here in static compound we have to take the four member ring in final compound we have to find out the five member ring means this is the example of ring expansion so this is the example of ring 
expansion because of four membering converting to the six membering uh, sorry four membering converting to the five membering that is a ring expansion reaction takes place so this example is re ring expansion so we have to take again the so what is the ring contraction how to ring contraction formation so we have to take here again four membering that is a ns2 again we have to write in this diazonium salt or reaction with hno2 or nitrous acid so formation of the diazonium salt so reacts with this ns2 formation of en double bond en oh so simply minus oh formation of the diazotization salt same way same rearrangement takes place formation of the diazotization salt here by using the nitrous acid this, ni uh, this nitrogen carries positive charge here formation of diazotization salt this is the uh, intermediate from this damjano rearrangement so this n2 can easily be depart so formation of the carbocation from this center so we have to numbering here 1 2 3 and 4 here formation of the carbocation which is here formation of the secondary carbocation this like this way here formation of the primary carbocation here first of all formation of the secondary carbocation in next step simply migration takes place okay the next step one to ship or here the rearrangement takes place this is the important step see here so this bond ships on this carbon so break bond between this 3 and 2 carbon so formation of this type bond or this carbon carries again see here this bond ships on this carbon c1 carbon so this carbon carries again positive charge break the bond between c3 and c2 so formation of the here c here in this way right this bond ships on this carbon so formation of the this three membering or this carbon carries again this cs2 carbon carries again positive charge here c here here secondary carbocation here formation of the primary carbocation but here this primary carbocation form this three membering okay here numbering again one four three so bond between this one and three this is your two carbon so this is here ring contraction four membering convert into the three member but we have to uh, you have to told about the uh, in this reaction in this rearrangement A stability of carbocation can be increased or formation of the product on more stable carbocation so here formation secondary convert into the primary so see here how this product will be stabilized we have to explain in next first of all see here this cs2 so nucleophile can be used so formation of the cs2 oh this is your final product cs2 oh so here secondary carbocation convert into the primary uh, you know second uh, tertiary more stable than secondary than primary but in this case here see formation of the three member ring in overall organic chemistry the cyclopropane ring having the angle strain here for carbocation will be formed which is the more and more stable as compared to all Uh, about the carbocation why because of here three membering cyclopropane ring having the uh, angle strain so the bond here uh, we have conti orbital can be present the shape of this uh, three membering is a banana shape you know you, you have to understand in uh, sorry Uh, study in FYSY class textbook see here this the shape of three membering is banana like see here this is your three membering cs2 carbocation 
so like in this way or here vacant d orbital in this way banana shape here electrons can be utilized here formation of the three membering or bond angle on this three membering is it is a bend not a straight when straight the angle strength can be can be increased here banana shape due to what your bonds can be bend here how this carbocation can be stable by using the three membering so three membering shape having banana shape and then here electrons we can orbital so overlap or uh, uh, attract on this orbital so formation of the stable carbocation okay so in overall organic chemistry the cyclopropane ring carbocation can be more and more stable to tertiary secondary primary and we have to discuss in the stability of carbocation in detail see the previous video of my lecture that is a stability of carbocation or intermediate of carbocation we have to explain very well so understand here this primary carbocation why because of more stable because of this carbocation which is formed on the three membering so understand very well so this is the dam janvo rearrangement we have to discuss the variant of the dam janvo rearrangement that is a tiffenyl dam janvo rearrangement so variation of the uh, dam janvo rearrangement which is the tiffenyl dam janvo rearrangement so it is useful for homologous in cyclic ketone cyclic ketone that containing that containing 3 or 3 to 7 member ring so the variant of the dam janvo rearrangement that is a tiffenyl dam janvo rearrangement so in this rearrangement we have to take the only and on, only cyclic ketone so tiffenyl dam janvo rearrangement only possible in the ring expansion reaction only in ring expansion reaction not a ring contraction reaction this thing very well in tiffenyl dam janvo rearrangement only ring expansion takes place so for example what is the homologous that is a no, increasing the number of carbon atom for example this is your acetic acid which is converted into the ch3 ch2 coh means increasing the number of carbon atom same here carboxylic acid here carboxylic acid only acetic acid converted into the propanoic acid means increasing the number of carbon atom that is a homologous series so we have to uh, statement right here the tiffenyl dam janvo rearrangement see here a specific specific variant of dam janvo rearrangement which leads to which leads to homologous formation homologous formation in which that is a in cyclic ketone and it is an ring expansion reaction which is called as the tiffenyl dam janvo rearrangement tiffenyl dam janvo rearrangement means 
specific variant of the dam janmo rearrangement that is a tifinu dam janmo rearrangement which leads to the formation of homologous cyclic ketone which is called as a tifinu dam janmo rearrangement so in next step we have to discuss the uh, example we have to take here for example that is a cyclohexanone this is the cyclo hexanone which reacts with the methyl nitromethyl in presence of base NaOET okay so here formation of the OH CS2 NO2 how this formation you know the your formation of the sodium acetate that is the NaOET and here CS3NO2 so OET minus can abstract the proton from this CS3 see here for example CS2H here NO2 OET minus can abstract this hydrogen so this bond shifts on this carbon formation of the negative charge over this carbon so this negative charge can attack on this carbonyl carbon this convert into the O minus or here excess of NaOET in Na plus that is a OSO minus it abstract the proton so formation of the OH CS2 NO2 understand simply this OET minus abstract this abstract this proton formation of the carbonyl then carbonyl attack on this carbonyl carbon formation of the OH in next step we have to take here functional group interconversion so what is we have to here reduction takes place that is a yes to in reni nickel okay so here this is the reducing agent so formation of the here CS2 NS2 so it's also called as the functional group interconversion in discussion disconnection chapter that is a OH CS2 NS2 so here again the we have to write here the your previous rearrangement that is a dam January rearrangement so here from a formation of the primary amide here NO2 is converted into the NS2 so this is your functional group interconversion takes place here in next step formation of simply diazotization by using the nitrous acid HNO2 that is your condition 0 to 5 degrees Celsius simply again here formation of the diazonium salt see here OH CS2 EN triple bond EN we have to write here directly diazonium salt so this diazonium salt how to formation this mechanism discussed in previous dam jano rearrangement so here formation of the en2 this en2 can be depot again formation of the this is your diazonium salt remember this thing in this step formation of the diazonium salt so this en2 can be eliminated in a easily because of this nitrogen carries positive charge again formation of the here OH and this carbon carries again positive charge ok and simply see here here 1 2 migration again see here a rearrangement takes place in this step we have to first of all numbering this carbon carries again 1 2 here 2 3 4 5 and 6 and this carbon carry time we have to write here C7 carbon simply here shifting of 1 2 migration or 1 2 migration takes place or this rearrangement takes place so this bond shifts on this carbon so formation of the bond between this C2 and this C7 carbon means the C1 and C2 carbon can be break means see here so formation of the in this way okay so this bond can be break so formation of the seven membering we have to write here as it is 
Here, this carbocation can be stabilized by using bond break between the C1 and C2. So, formation of the bond between the C7 and C2 means breaking the bond between C1 and C2. So, again, this C1 carbon carries positive charge. That is a carbocation formation. See here in next step. Here formation of the seven member ring bond between the C1, the C, C here. Here formation of the OH, this is your C1 carbon as it is. But here formation of the carbocation, here your 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and this 7. Because of uh, ring expansion takes place between the C1 and the C2. This is your C1 carbon. Okay, so formation of the C1 member ring means ring expansion takes place here. We have to tell about the first of all. In this Tiffany Damjano rearrangement, only ring expansion reaction will take place. Means 3 member to 7 member ring converting into the 3 to 4, 4 to 5 U. Okay, so here 6 member ring converting into the 7 member ring. Simply here, tautomerism takes place. Stabilize the positive charge over this C1 carbon can be stabilized by using this tautomerism. So, formation of the here C1 member ring that is a cycloheptanone ring means 6 member ring convert into the 7 member ring. So, in this Tiffany Damjano rearrangement, only and only ring expansion takes place, means 6 member ring convert into the 7 member ring. So, this is all about the Damjano rearrangement. First of all, we have to see the Damjano rearrangement and next one we have to see the variant of the Damjano rearrangement, that is a Tiffany Damjano rearrangement. So, this is all about this rearrangement. Understand very well. I write here again. So, this is today all about this damn January arrangement. So, today we have to stop here. Okay. Thank you very much.